Yo, what is going on, man? We back with another video. This right here, y'all been begging to do this. This is Tokyo Revengers by CJ Get the Channel. Here. Tokyo Revengers got Black Force Energy. Hey, I got some beautiful ladies on here. Hey, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Hey, what's up? I'm Belle. You can find me on TikTok at Mama six times or on Instagram at alabel one uh, I'm Kiara, also known as KRXOX. You can find me on YouTube, KRXOX, TikTok.KRXOX, Instagram, underscore, underscore, KRXOX. Hi, I'm Tiana. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at tiana.in.atl. Hey guys, it's Cassie G. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel at Cassie G, C A S S I space G. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> she said she do a whole thing, Shay. Okay, go girl. Anybody else? Casu, okay. <laughs> yeah, cat woman then. Got to call you cat woman. <laughs> no cop. Yeah, yeah, the fat red guy. Let's start boxing. A whole ass turf. Oh, oh my God, but he broke his neck. That is dead. Then we got this dude smiling while beating this ass. Then this man jumps mm, off a car like on some WWE type <laughs> and gets a whole no. ass double kill. <laughs> Hit that like, hit that sub. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So as we know, there's been some pretty Hi. good anime that's been coming out lately. But out of all the new anime, Hi. my favorite new anime right now has to be Tokyo Revengers. Now, some of y'all are probably like, CJ, why is this your favorite anime right now? Well, simple. Tokyo Revengers is Black Air Force Energy, the anime. Like, dog, bro, this shit is a wild. <laughs> like, dog, oh niggas God. getting dropped. Oh, niggas man. getting beat the oh, fuck no. from left to right. They are having whole ass gang wars in middle school. And then I'm just sitting there watching it like, Middle school is damn. crazy. Like, this anime has There's gotten to the point where I'm going to have to mentally analyze and give this an entire black <laughs> Yeah, energy. I was just telling them I watched I'm baby anime, you, okay? The round table is constructed. <laughs> Quite a bit of these dudes are probably gonna be sitting on there, along with this guy. Because this guy's video is taking so goddamn long because there's too much shit I gotta put in it, damn it. <clears throat> but anyways, but like I said, it's time to give this show a Black Air Force Energy synopsis. So I have compiled everything from episode 1 through 15 in one entire exhibit. And then when the anime fully finishes, I'm gonna have another one. So damn, I guess this one's gonna be a two-parter. But anyways, y'all already know, we got the evidence on deck. And it is time to dive into this A1 Savager. Hey, but let me go ahead and give that spoiler warning real quick. If you have not seen episodes 1 through 15, you might want to watch yourself because there's going to be some spoilers up in this hoe. So watch it, then come back. <clears throat> Exhibit A. Alright, so we're introduced to our main character, Takemichi. And goddamn, if he don't get off his ass and clean up this nasty <laughs> <ass> apartment, bro. <laughs> <laughs> his ass. Oh, it smell musty as hell in that hoe. This man got some dirty oh, ass dishes that he probably ain't even washed since he moved in. Man got some trash bags on the floor, probably making it smell like foot fungus in that bitch. Like, get your lazy ass up and go to the dumpster, nigga. Nasty ass yeah. got beer cans and Playboy magazines oh, all over the damn really? place. Oh, mm -hmm. Hell no. Nasty. You in middle school. Nasty ass nigga. Please. That's accurate for what the room look like okay nasty room dirty that's how the rooms be looking with middle school <laughs> Trash. So while this man is eating his potato chips and scratching his ass with his greasy ass fingers, he's watching the news and he realizes that his ex-girlfriend just died. Oh, and guess who's the killer? The isekai sending machine himself. Trucoon strikes again. Mechanical menace adding Ooh. another body to wow. his Wow. Oh my goodness. Coming down bad, bro. I mean, we've seen yeah. his room. His ex-girl just died. He's working at the local blockbuster and shit. So how could his day get any worse? <laughs> shit, uh, well, get pushed out into the train tracks. Mm. Okay. So after he gets okay. ran over by Train Sean, he gets sent back 12 years into the past. Back to his middle school days as a whole ass delinquent. So these dudes out here looking for a fight with some second years, but they did not understand the fate that they was about to catch. Cause they end up running into these niggas, bruh. Smoking cigarettes and shit, looking like they goddamn 30 middle years old. School. And look at his shoes. <laughs> I look like adults. Which Black ones. So yeah. <laughs> I guess you got dang copyright type shit. Oh, it's That's why you oh, he got to be dead. 
All right. So after they got their ass beat, my guy's like, ah, oh, shit, I got to go check and see if my girl's still alive. Make sure Truck Coon hasn't struck yet. And hey, what do you know? He hasn't made his move yet. Like, look at these tears of joy. Like, this man is in pure oh. relief right now because my guy's <laughs> like, oh, thank God. Him oh, was right. Truck Coon hasn't struck yet. So he figures out that the little brother's handshake is a link so he can jump around time and shit. So these two are like, all right, bet. Let's work together to save Hina's life from Truck Coon's almighty wrath. Hey, but it ain't going to be that easy, though, because Truck my nigga going to go through some goddamn tribulation. Because this man goes back into the past and spawns into a whole ass pit fight just to get knocked the fuck out. Oh. Ooh. And then after that, since he, he lost no the hate. fight, bro, he got jumped by the dudes that had a bet on him. Then this nigga with the black force he started beating his ass with a bat. Like, he was beating his ass. Yo, wow. He had in the day to damn dark. Why? He ain't got no friends. Like, look at his bed, bro. The nigga can't him. even walk. After <laughs> my guy gets a whole ass morale boost from Truck Coon's next meal, he's like, I right, bet time to stop being a bitch. I'm about to fight the nigga that beat my ass with a bat. But, but it, it, it didn't go so well. Because he was getting the A1 ass whooping by a nigga with a cigarette. Again? Oh, he got beat up again. Well, then his like, That's what I'm bro, saying. Mm -mm. So he pulls out a whole ass knife and is about to shank like, this nigga. But when everything looked like it was going downhill, <laughs> lo and behold, the two Black Air Force guys have arrived. Draken and Mikey. First off, first off, let's just look at the appearances real quick. This nigga got a whole ass tattoo on his head in oh, middle yeah. school. And you could just tell by his walk, bro. He pulls up like a whole ass what minute. Middle school? Hands in his pockets to. and shit, not giving a fuck, bro, bro, bro. You know this nigga got hands for days. And then Mikey. Now, when you first see Mikey, you're like, right. who's this goofy ass little nigga? Like, I thought he That's was Draken. That's though, hey. The niggas that don't <laughs> talk, that silent, they got their hands. Mm -hmm. They ain't gonna cap. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. He got his hands in the pockets, too. They be moving stuff for real. It was the lick lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had like, crumbs on his lips. These niggas ain't nobody. That's what he's saying, basically. <laughs> His little brother or some shit. Then everybody starts bowing, and then you're like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Some ain't right here. Then it shows that he's a whole mm -hmm. ass commander, bruh. Like, this man radiates so much Black Air Force energy when he walks, he got everybody bowing. Bow and then just look at the look, bruh. This man is like, I'm that nigga. Then he just kicks yeah. shit out of this motherfucker. Like, just straight up embarrasses this man in front of everybody. Oh, and then to add more salt on the wound. This man, Mikey, literally pulls up on him with a smile on his face. Then. Yep. Toes to the lip. Damn. Damn. Minimal effort. It like he liked it. His eyes got that. It looked like he liked it. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on My God. Wow. Everybody's just watching this like, damn. He being that nigga. Ass. <laughs> he's just screaming at his head and with a smile on his face. And he's like, all right, time to go. Oh With God. a smile. Oh, this man is a whole That's ass my kind of guy. Club. He walks up into oh. a whole ass fight club, makes everybody bow down to him, then beats the, the shit flat. out of this nigga, then leaves. Right. Oh my God, dog. So then after that whole debacle goes down, they all become pretty good friends. So then he gets invited to a whole ass gang meeting. And then he gets kicked in the back by this ugly ass granddaddy long legs looking ass boy right oh, here. Mm -mm. Head, right, it's he like. Ugly as fuck. Like, dog, it is sideways. How can you turn your head like that? You fucking marionette. So they're having this gang meeting right now because they're about to have a whole ass gang war against this gang called Mobius because eh, they, they did some shit, some heinous ass shit. Like, they beat the brakes off of this dude's friend. Redude of the healer, his girl, right in front of him. Then they mm. robbed the nigga, then beat up his parents and his siblings later. Like, look at her, bro. Oh, no, no, nigga. You got a box after that, my G. Like, you got to run the hands after that, bro. So we finally get to see some of that backstory no jutsu. This man got the whole ass tattoo on his head in the fifth grade, bro. Out here beating the shit out of niggas. So this whole ass middle school is smoking a cigarette. Like, He's like, yeah. hey, yo, nigga, I need you to find this dude named Mikey. So when Dragon when first meets Mikey, he's like, who is this little snot-nosed bastard? I was expecting a whole ass middle school giga nigga or some shit. No, no, this man Mikey didn't waste no time with this sorry ass nigga. He straight up Dude, blew at yeah. his ass and dropped the fuck out of him, bro. Lay his ass out and smoked his pack. Face? Did this oh, in elementary dang. school? Man, these little kids these days out here getting these black forces early as hell. So then we go back to the conflict that Takemichi's trying to stop because if he doesn't stop this, then our boy Draken's gonna get got. So he's like, hey, y'all, we don't need to fight these niggas. But of course they didn't listen. This nigga Paul started beating the shit out of him. Now I Oh, cap though, Paul Loki is a I mean, he's trying to stand up for his homie and his homie's girl that got beat the fuck up. 
But bro, I'm sorry, this nigga ugly as shit. Paul seems like he's that one dude in the front. Yeah. Like he's like the most realest and chillest nigga in the group. But he the ugly nigga that don't get no hoes, bro. <laughs> but he a real one though, so he got my heart. <laughs> but then Mobius pulls up to the whole ass spot ready for the smoke, dog. Like they brought all the ops and every shoot on the block. So then Paul starts fighting them. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at these clean ass jabs, dog. Snapped his whole head back. Dog, look at his Gosh. face. Man is already out on his feet. Then this nigga Mikey oh like, sit back and watch. Mm -mm. Mikey, Mikey, everybody ain't you, bro. Get this nigga out of here. Like, I understand having heart and everything, but come on, man. throw on the goddamn towel. Yeah. Dude ain't even got on shoes no more. And then the dude finally passed out. I was like, thank God, bro. I couldn't watch that shit no more. So then Mikey's like, you did well, my guy. Thank you for opening for the main event. And look at all these stupid ass grunts talking all this shit. Like, they some dumbasses. Like, if I see a dude walking like this, bro, some ain't right. This man is just casually walking up to him with his hands in his pockets. Ain't even looking at him. And just watch out for the dude. And the toes. Why you gotta watch out for them quiet ones? Nigga with the nastiest roundhouse kick I have ever seen. And just drilled his face into the ground. Bro, we need like He's literally like the type that don't do no talking. That's what that means. That's what that means. Roundhouse or some shit. Cause yo, that's just nasty. Then all the shit talking grunts are like, oh, what the fuck, bro? What, what, what just happened? Your leader got dropped in under 10 seconds by a nigga in flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> so then this guy just looks up and tries to shake Mikey. But this man Dracon said, cut that shit out, my boy. So then the cops are coming mm. in. Everybody's trying to dip. So to add more salt to the wound for this nigga, Pa comes out of nowhere and shakes his ass. And was like, I ain't letting you get away with that shit, bitch. But it was kind of stupid. Yeah, you beat me up. I had to stay and get arrested. I mean, it was only for a year, though. So shit, uh, shit, nigga, that was worth it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shake the shit out of that nigga. You think you're gonna get away with all the shit that you fucking did, you bitch boy? Fuck out of here. So later on, y'all remember the guy that got like the shit kicked out of him? Yeah, this guy's back because he wants to kill Draken for embarrassing his sorry ass. So they find yeah. Takamichi out here being nosy and shit, so they beat his ass up, ties him up, and just leaves him there. So Draken ends up getting sneaked because this nigga is a stank ass rat. This granddaddy long legs ugly ass boy. Homie trying to get revenge because Pa went to jail. Nigga, why you mad at him? Pa could have left if he want to. You rat ass, snitch ass bitch. Ratted out your whole crew to a whole ass another gang. So then Mikey pulls up and he's like, hey bro, what the fuck is going on? You little rat ass bitch, this ain't how we do shit. And then this tall, lanky ass boy comes out of nowhere. And he blocks the Mikey 3000 roundhouse. But obviously, you know, he gotta be the leader. So this man brought a hundred members to jump the shit out of four niggas. But nah, we don't do no jumping oh, here, boy. Cause the whole squad pull up on some whole ass <laughs> gang activity. <laughs> so then they all just start boxing yeah. the whole ass turf. It just bro, broke his neck. Mm -hmm. That nigga is dead. Mm -hmm. Then we got this dude smiling while beating this nigga's ass. Then this man jumps off a car on some WWE yeah, type yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 That's like, bro, That's get WWE. your little ass out here, boy. <laughs> this man is really holding a whole ass conversation while whooping niggas' asses in front of him. And yo, this man is so lucky Mikey is a nice guy and treats this man like family. Because if it was anybody else, this nigga would have got smoked for ratting out his whole crew. So then Takemichi <laughs> sees old dude and he's like, wait a damn minute. He got blood on his knife. Oh shit, my nigga got got. Ooh. Ooh. But this dude is such an absolute unit. He is still alive. But here come Kiyomasa's bitch ass with his whole little nasty ass click. Some rat ass niggas themselves. So obviously Draken can't fight at the moment. So my guy Takemichi's like, all right, bro. I gotta grow some balls. My girl's watching. My homeboy's hey, watching. Thanks. The girl I tried to fuck in the karaoke booth is watching. I cannot afford to be a bitch right now. <laughs> Look at her believing in her man and shit. Nigga, she a keeper, bruh. Takemichi, you better not fuck anything up, bruh. So before they even fight, this little bitch ass nigga stabs him in the fucking hand, bruh. Oh. But my guy rips oh. that shit out of his hand and starts biting the Mike Tyson style. Yo. Trying to eat his ass like a whole well. ass ghoul. And then he gets his back, puts his ass in a whole ass rear naked choke. Then chokes the life out of that nigga. Oh. Nigga. Oh. oh my goodness gracious, Joe Rogan would be going crazy over this shit. Choked his ass out and smoked his pack. Talking Ooh. me shit with from bitch nigga to real nigga real quick. So these old punk asses gonna try to okay. jump him and shit, but luckily the homies came through. The ride or dies pulled up, bruh. This just shows that everybody need a ride or die nigga, bruh. Like these niggas Thanks. are straight up family. Don't Why is he ass like that? Right now. Like look at him, bruh. He pulled up in the Bruce Lee stance and the other one's in the whole <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's what I noticed. Hey, yo. 
I mean, even though they get their ass beat, they some they real ass beat. And tight. I mean, they held them off till they had the retreat, so that's a dub. Yeah. I mean, they had to take this man Drak into the hospital, but I ain't worried, though. He a real nigga, though. He gonna survive. Shit, it's just a stab wound. This little rat ass nigga pay on at the goddamn hospital. Ooh, you so lucky Dom Toretto got a big influence on you like Because if that was me, yeah. and you almost know one of my homies killed, I'm smoking Don't your cry. little rat ass. Mm -mm. Yeah, fuck out of here, bro. So Takemichi finally finished his mission, so he's like, I bet I can finally go back to the future and everything's gonna be fine. I mean, he's still working at the dusty ass blockbuster and shit but everybody's alive though so that's a dub man got to talk to hina again i don't know why the fuck they broke up my nigga she's a keeper but i mean you do you chief but then <sighs> jesus christ so he goes to the bathroom and tells hina to go to the car then when he comes out the bathroom you remember the tall lanky ass nigga that blocked the mikey 3000 roundhouse the nigga says you're not in the car oh that sucks i was hoping i could take care of you both at once. Ooh. Oh, hell Ooh. nah, bruh. No, yeah, no, we ain't yeah. doing this shit. So Hina's just chilling in the smart car, right? And oh, no. And oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. The truck. That's crazy. Somebody trying to stop my divine wrath. <laughs> Hilarious, I tell you. Good show, good show. Oh, yeah, good show. What a surprise, Fist. You didn't think Big Daddy Chuck Hoon would come and find you because your little boyfriend went back in time to save your little sorry ass? You may stop me once, but Big Daddy it's Chuck Hoon will always come right, in the face. <laughs> it's the voiceover. It's the voiceover. Oh. Oh my gosh. No. 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 my No. 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 Oh, Chakun, you evil son of a bitch. So Takemichi and Naoto are like, ah, shit, bro. We got to start again from square one. We got to make sure none of Chakun's vessels are summoned to this domain. So they do some research, and we figure out that our boy Dragon is on death row for catching multiple bodies. And we figure out the dude that's doing all this bullshit is this ugly-ass bastard right here, Kisaki. So obviously, uh, we're going to have to go back in time and murk this nigga to make sure his ass ain't yeah. breathing in the future. Because if this nigga ain't breathing, uh -huh. she's breathing. And we want her to breathe. So our boy Takemichi. She goes back into the past to stop Kisaki. Oh, and what do you know? This ugly bastard got promoted to the third division captain. So our boy Takemichi's like, uh uh, fuck all that bullshit, nigga, and just rushes his ass. Sock the oh, shit out of his Then this dude Baji, remember the WWE ass nigga that jumped off the car? Yeah, yeah. but he starts coming in and welling on our nigga Takemichi, bro. Like, damn, cut, why you had to do my homie like that? Then this little punk ass bitch punches our boy Takemichi in the face. Oh, I hate this nigga. Then this man wakes up and Mikey's just sitting there like, you awake, my nigga? <laughs> This man like, damn, cause you got knocked the fuck out to that Steve Urkel looking nigga. So Mikey sends Takemichi on a whole ass infiltration no mission to infiltrate this new gang called Valhalla. The one that the WWE superstar left for. So then this dude, Kasutoro, comes up and picks up Takemichi and he's like, hey, bro, I'm gonna take you back to our base. So when he gets to the base, he sees Baji beating the shit out of this nigga. Like straight up pummeling his face. And that's his whole ass oh. vice captain. Oh, and guess what? Look, the tall ass nigga's there too. So you already know this little rat ass nigga probably got some shit to do with it. Then they're like, we're gonna kill Mikey. I don't know about that one, Chief, but uh, you right. can try. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's really it for Exhibit A. I mean, this is the longest shit I've ever done. Cause I kind of did kind of go through like 15 episodes. But hey, I mean, it is what it is, bro. But like I said, bro, Tokyo Revengers is the shit, bro. This is Black Air Force Energy, the anime. And A, when the anime is over and we finally get the rest of the episodes, we can do Exhibit B and put some niggas on this table. But anyways, uh, uh y'all take it easy and I'm going to go ahead and skedaddle. Black there we go. There we have it, man. Oh, Damn, I got to see part two soon. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that was good. I ain't going to lie. What y'all think about the video? That was intense. I watched that. I might actually watch that one. That no, me too. That was interesting. Yeah. yeah dang, I hope he saved, you know, his girlfriend, you know, reverse that timeline, <laughs> you know, because yeah. God I think dang. see her die several times. Man, before he gets he seven deadly sins, and he 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 gonna do a lot of work to keep her alive. It seems like because he can't catch a break. Damn. I'm I hope over time his fighting skills get better. 
Yeah, that one dude, he just blocking everything. God dang. It's always one person that's bigger than the other one. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it always is, man. That Mikey crazy. dude was little. And he was beating he up was. everybody. And he looked like a girl. <laughs> and he was yeah. beating up. He was mopping everybody. Yeah, they was scared of Mike. Sandals, some Walmart sandals, god dang. You know? <laughs> With the smile. Put toes to temples. What do you say? He didn't stand a chance. God dang. To Just imagine if he would have had some boots on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shoes like everybody else. They showed them shoes at the beginning. And I was like, okay. Do you got on no shoes? He said he they had the Air Force Ones, but nah, that was the goddamn. That was the black shoes from Walmart. I could tell. Strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all make sure we'll do part two only if y'all follow all them right now, man. You know what I'm saying? And spam they DM, man. That's the only way we're gonna do part two, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like, hit that sub, man. We all gang. I'll do